Hi, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. Today is the day I show you all of the palettes I've used this month in January. It is not over. January is not over. It is the 24th, just so you know. Um, but it's time. Uh, my eye is watering now because my eye is a dick. But um, anyways... <laughs> We're going to talk about the palettes that I've used this month and see what I've used and what I might get rid of. And let's just get into this video. Um, we're going to start off with the Casualty. This is the LA Main Stage Desert Dream. First off, this had broken. I was fine. Whatever. And then Amy, I've been putting my palettes behind me that I've been using. I need to find a better spot to store the ones that I've used. But anyways, Amy was trying to let the cat in because there's a door over here and was being an idiot. She wasn't really being an idiot. She just wasn't paying attention. And it fell. And because this broke is broken, this popped off and like stabbed and it broke this shade and this shade. I mean, and I hit pan in the black. So yeah, there's that. I hit pan in that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. It's broken. Um, I know that I could keep it and that I could enjoy it and use it, but this there's two shades that are broken, one that I hit pan in, and this is broken off. So I'm, I'm going to toss it. Um, but I did use it this month and I really, really do think that this is a great palette. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so it was kind of sad, but shit happens. I am however going to save this mirror and take it to work and put it in my desk. So there's that. What's on my eyes today is the Glam Light Icy palette, the cherry palette that was sent to me from Andy Does Stuff, and I like it, enjoy it, it's great, um, yeah, keep for sure. I'm not really here to get rid of palettes, I'm just talking. I used this ABH um, palette from, it's Alyssa Edwards, it came from Makeup by PAW. I've just been using mostly this white and Beast. This is my new on my desk palette um, to reach for. So I've been actually getting a lot of use out of this white and of course the black, which I used also on my eyes today. Also, I want to state that I am now, when I put these aside after using them, trying not to reach back into them because what I want to do is I want to use my palettes and I do have a tendency sometimes to reach for the same palette not always but you know I'll use the same palette a couple times or several times in the month and what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to cycle through my palettes and use more of them so I am going to actually write down every month what I'm using and at the end of the year I'm going to figure out you know what I haven't used in my collection and potentially declutter those um, and I'm liking this method because it's getting me to pull out more palettes that I wasn't using and get use out of however I have to put all this shit away so there's that Anyways, I used this strawberry milkshake from Alien Cosmetics Unearthly. It is a good palette. I like the color story. I don't think the formula is that great, um, to be honest. In this particular palette, it's the only Unearthly Cosmetics palette that I've used. It's not bad. It's a good formula, but it's, it's not like, oh my god, you know, like everybody seems to think. I do know that this is one of their, you know older palettes so maybe that's why but the color story I absolutely love and this packaging is everything so I did enjoy that of course I used the Beauty Bay Book of Magic it's one of those palettes that I reach for a lot so yes I use the Sunset Horizons by Beauty Bay of course um, this is one that I use less of from Beauty Bay, but I do really like it. 
I use the Love Notes from Beauty from Beauty Bay and it looks like that. I love this palette too even though it's very light toned. I know it got a lot of hate. I used the Midnight um, by Beauty Bay. Another one that I tend to reach for a lot. Beautiful palette. I used the Kaleidos Futurism whatever electro turquoise palette. I love, love, love this color story. I hate the packaging. Everybody likes the packaging. I hate it. Um, I used to like it, but now I just find it freaking annoying. Um, but I, I love this color story and the formula. Let's try not to break any palettes. Last month when I did this, I had palettes fall and none broke. And since I've already lost one this month, let's not lose any more. I used the Huda Rose Quartz palette that Andy Does Stuff gifted me, and I really do love this palette. Um, but what I'm finding, I mixed it with this Ace Beauty Paradise Fallen palette. I am finding that I like to mix this with other palettes. I didn't understand. And I think that that's okay. And I'm getting used to the idea of mixing palettes with palettes. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed this palette when I mixed it. Um, and Paradise Fallen by Ace Beauty. Oh my fucking God. I love this palette. Why don't I use it more? I feel like a mm, stormy night sky when I wear this. I love it. I love these colors. I, I love this palette. I need to use it more. This was sent to me from Kristen from Beauty Beatdown and it is the Mercury Retrograde from Huda and I used it and I enjoyed it um, even though my eye like watered really fucking bad. Freaking bad. Um, so I am going to uh, mix this palette too, because I think I would enjoy it more if I mixed it. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a stunning palette and I love, love, love the shimmers. That is my favorite part. I use the subculture by ABH. Um, I only use like a couple shades out of it to add to a look and yeah, I really like this palette. What can I say? I used the Druid palette that was sent to me for my birthday, I believe, um, from Kristen Beauty Beatdown, and I love, love, love the shimmers in this palette. However, I find that the mattes, they're nice, but they're not for me personally. They are a more buildable formula, um, and I just don't want to take the time to build, but these shimmers in here are everything and the mattes do work. So I really do like this palette a lot, um, and enjoy it. It kind of reminds me of the subculture just a little bit. Um, there is some ready brown tones in it, you know? I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of the subculture. So it's totally my jam and those shimmers are phenomenal. So yes, I use the Melt Amori Mariposis palette. This packaging is my heart and soul. Um, I don't like the, the birds on it, but still, um, yeah, great formula, great, stunning, pigmented, amazing. Tokyo Harajuku from Nomad. I believe I just used the gray. Um, and for whatever reason, I reach for this palette for that gray all the time. For actually both of these, this one is really close to pan too. So there's that. Um, I really do love the shimmers in here too. And I need to, I think spring, I want to concentrate on using some more of those shimmers. I used the Juvia's Place the Warrior. I used this in a collab with um, Charmaine and I'm gonna get rid of this palette. It is time. Um, I enjoy it, it's good, but I have better 
golds in my collection and better browns in my collection so I'm actually gonna let this one go I haven't used that palette in a long time and so it was nice pulling it out and using it and now I know I used the vampirism palette that was gifted to me for my birthday from Leanna Dalton oh shit um, it's a Jolie Beauty palette, and it is a very beautiful palette, and I do enjoy it and love it, and yes, it was fun. And you guys, of course, it's my theme. So I used the Jubilee by Natasha Denona, and I mixed it with the Tr Mini Tropic by Natasha Denona. I used the blues. Um the two these two on the end these ones those one they look the same um they don't so much in the pan but they really do um however these two combined together i thought was a really fun combination and i enjoyed using them i used the kaleidos flower punk palette Ugh. I love this palette anyways anyways I love this palette um, I love the shimmers I love the colors I actually use this with the melt 420 palette which I'll show you in a minute I've been loving mixing two palettes together it's been one, something I've been learning to enjoy and I feel like it offers more especially with smaller palettes for me um, but yeah I love this palette and I, I don't know what else to say about it. So I have the Modern Renaissance and this, this is all from the fall. And yeah, anyways, I've swatched this and I've only used it once. Um, this is from the Ipsy Glam bag, so it's fairly new. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, the person I talked to knows that it's dirty now um and they don't care so i'm gonna pass this along to andy and yeah what what can i say about this palette it performed really well i loved the performance the shimmers are beautiful but they're not bam in your face they're very subtle if i was doing wedding makeup this would be a go-to palette because when you're thinking about flashes and cameras if you, that person that you're doing makeup on is having a professional photographer with lights and flash and things like that you don't want a crazy BAM highlighter you don't want a crazy BAM eyeshadow otherwise it looks gross and ugly and not very pretty or whatever and so a palette like this would be amazing for that plus not everybody wants to go all wild however i don't do wedding makeup so i don't need it um the shades were really pigmented and beautiful though so you know you know it's going so we went to salem for a weekend because we do that sometimes and i brought these two palettes with me and i used them together um, this is the coral palette. I got this from Leanna Dalton for my birthday and this is the Cupid palette that Andy Does Stuff sent me. I love these palettes so freaking much. I love them. I love, love, love them and I love combining them too. They are stunning, stunning, stunning. This shade right here is amazing. Um, I don't necessarily think that you need both but they are different enough in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I combined them together. They were the perfect travel palette. Um, and they give me looks that I want. And they were the perfect travel palette because look, you guys, there are, um, highlighter shades. You can use, I use this as a highlighter. Also, um, this worked as a, a blush for me so it was just like the perfect like I didn't need to bring a highlighter 
and a blush i just needed these and i had what i needed and i loved that for me <laughs> okay i have used the blend bunny cosmetics primal palette that andy does stuff uh sent to me for my birthday and what can i say i love this palette of course i do Here's the smoke sessions that I used, and I was so kindly gifted a Fort, uh, smoke sessions palette from Z Steff as a, a friend mail, and yeah, this is a stunning palette, and I thought that it paired so nicely with that Kaleidos palette, and I, I loved it. This came from Makeup by Pia W. It was sent to me directly from St. Angel Sinners, Darcy, it's dirty, okay? Um, I did, I have a swatch video up on this and eventually there will be a look. Um, my look is already posted. I haven't edited the video yet. Um, but yes, this palette is very beautiful. It's an all shimmer palette. I really did enjoy it and I do like the formula and the shimmers are really pretty. I don't have any complaints. Thank you, Makeup by PAW and thank you, Darcy. Um, I think I'm supposed to be getting the new one, so I'm excited to try that. So <clears throat> we're almost done, you guys. I used the Tahiti be perfect palettes this is one that I would reach for multiple times same with the primal so that's why I like am trying not to do that but anyways this came from Andy does stuff for my birthday because she like totally fucking hooked me up like wild same with Leanna Dalton um but anyways I really love this palette a lot I do um it does stain okay you guys editing ash here my content just disappeared. I don't know where that video went or where the rest of it went, but it disappeared. It did. And so it sucks, but I only had one more palette on the what I used this month list in Jan or January, yeah. So I used the ABH Norvina Mini Pro Volume 1. I got this from Andy Does Stuff and I really like the shimmers. I really like this palette, but I'm on the edge of whether or not I really need this or want this. Um, it really is pretty. And the shimmers, the shimmers are really pretty, but I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm going to keep it because I really do enjoy it and like it. Um, but I also like do I need this? Am I going to reach for this over my other purple pink palettes? I'm not so sure. I've used this before and I really liked it. Um, but I'm trying to curate just a little bit and these pans don't look very easy to pull out, unfortunately. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to like pull the shimmers out if I wanted to, to keep those. So anyways, I'm keeping it for now and we're going to see if I reach for it this year and how much and go kind of go from there. And so that is all the palettes that I've used. That is 29 this month, which isn't too bad considering I haven't really done as much makeup as I normally do. Um, if there are videos up, you know, in January that do not feature any of these palettes, I promise those videos are old. <laughs> Um, I pre-film like crazy and so, you know, and sometimes things get pushed back and Maui, sometimes things get pushed back and are not releasing until later and I don't know why I do that or whatever. I'm just weird, but, um, yeah. So anyways. So anyways, that is all the palettes that I've used this month. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these palettes and I'll see you next time. I hope. And I'm sorry that this is 
is new and happening because my footage disappeared. I've never, ever, ever lost footage before. Okay, bye.